All right, welcome back to 6.40 a.m. The Mix. And the topic of today's video is what to do with an old analog radio that's just sitting around collecting dust. Many say not much to listen to on the analog VHF, UHF, FM bands anymore. Are they right? I respectfully disagree. And I say repurpose that old analog scanner and get some use out of it. It could be sitting in your drawer. Or even better, you see one at a flea market or yard sale for a great price. Grab it and put it back into service. And with that in mind, today we're going to take a look at the Uniden Bearcat BC 245 XLT Trunk Tracking Scanner. That was a mouthful. Mine's in great shape. Just needed a new rechargeable battery I picked up online. It originally retailed for around $200 back in the late 1990s and it covered 12 bands. Let's take a look. First, we had the amateur 10 meter band, FM. We have the low VHF band, the six meter amateur band, the aircraft band, 108 to 137 megahertz. The federal government band, from 137 to 144, and then again from 406 to 420 megahertz. The two meter ham band, the 70 centimeter ham band, otherwise known as the 440 megahertz band, 450 to 470 UHF, 470 to 512 UHF, known as the T band, where you find a lot of your fire, EMS, and police frequencies if they're still in analog use, and there's still some out there. The 806 to 956 megahertz, including the 33 centimeter ham band but of course not including the old cell band. But today we're gonna to concentrate on two particular bands, the air band and the two meter ham band. Why you ask? Air band to receive air traffic. There's plenty of traffic out there on this band to listen to on your old scanner. And we're gonna be listening to a sample of the New York metro area JFK approach and the two meter ham band for the International Space Station. Aboard the space station is an amateur radio repeater that is accessible by ham operators throughout the world to communicate. There are plenty of YouTube videos on the specifics of listening and how to transmit through the space station. But here, I want to showcase what you can do with that old scanner. So enjoy. Okay, there you have it. A quick look at the Uniden BC245 XLT scanner, mainly copying the International Space Station. If you're interested in more videos with this classic Uniden, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time on 6:40 a.m. The Mix.